Yet again, it's me, Sheila True Love. Today, we're going to talk about I have no sympathy for. Men who have three, four, or five kids with different baby mamas and, and then they look down at their paycheck and see he barely has enough to live on. A lot of men think sex is their natural right and the government should tax them or make them pay, shouldn't make them pay for a natural act. Well, I hope they know by now, you have to pay to play. You keep thinking you're entitled to free, untaxed sex. Now, they need to get two and three jobs. They go around asking, what are they supposed to live on? Shouldn't they have asked that question beforehand? They need to imagine. Imagine if they were a single parent and they were the ones getting impregnated and they had to be the primary caretaker the guardian of the kids. They have to be responsible for getting them clothes, insurance, feeding them, keeping a roof over their head, education, daycare, medical, gas to get to here and from, from there, you know. Uh, and if they have a child who has special needs, that's even more costly. And doing all this, tell me then, what would their paycheck look like? There's not a birth control invented that is 100% guaranteed. None. It's not good if the baby mamas are greedy, but it's better to have them being greedy than for your children to be hungry. Besides, it sounds more like he was the one who was greedy. He wanted all the sex with all these different women. Now, it's time to pay the piper. You know, taxpayers are tired of taking care of other people's responsibilities. I know I am. Now, I'm not letting women off the hook because they should have kept their legs closed. You know, however, at least they were willing to step up to the plate and they woman up. They was willing to woman up. They don't have to keep these kids, you know. There's new laws out there. Most, not all. Most of these women were only looking for love, loyalty, respect, and a man who would be supportive. But since they slipped up with a simp, they're still willing to take on that responsibility for their poor decision. You know, some men, they just don't get it. You have to support the children that you create. Condoms are cheaper than child support. You may, today you have men going to jail. They're losing their license. They are having their pay garnished. Their refunds are taken away from them completely, etc. And for what? A brief moment of foolishness. Baby, please. There shouldn't be no female's box that's worth all that. I guess that's why so many men are going on the down low today. I never understood why men have unprotected sex and then they cry about the consequences. It seems very simple to me. If you don't want a baby, mama, wear condoms or don't have sex with someone who you don't want to have children with. Elementary, dear Watson. I also don't feel sorry for a dude who's always abusing women. And then when the woman come back and try to drown him, electrocute or kill him. You know, I don't feel sorry for that, Sim. You know, it's like uh, if you throw a stick at a lion. And that lion bites your arm off. Can you blame him? Chances are, abusers, they look at the woman. They size her up. <laughs> they didn't know that she was a lion. I bet he knows now. I also don't feel sorry for a person who loses their partner after doing something over and over again. And now, no matter what they do, their partner's not taking them back. Then they go around crying about what they lost and will never find again. Once a person is done, they're done. I have no sympathy for them. In closing, remember, you always have a choice. Hit the subscription button at the bottom below. And please share this video with someone else. Until next time. Keep it zipped up. Keep those legs closed.